Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports and welcome back to part four of our M4 GTS build. So today we're going to get cool. We have a DCT cooler from CSF. We have a Musselman thermostat and a Dodson DCT pan. So stay tuned. For today's video, we are going to start off by installing the Musselman thermostat, which I must say looks incredible. Now this is going to replace the stock thermostat and the benefit of this is it's going to keep your car about 20 degrees Celsius, which I believe is around 68 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. So especially when you're running, you know, increased boost and whatnot and more power, it's going to keep you cool. So let's get started. First part of the process is to move some of these other lines out of the way. Now the cool thing is we already have the charge air cooler off so it makes it super easy to access. There's a T, I'm sorry, there's an E8 down here. And there's another one right down here. Is this not the cleanest used oil filter you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> if you are just changing your thermostat, you don't have to do that, but we're just at a point where we need to put the filter in anyway, so figure why not while we're there. Now when you're installing a new thermostat, there's a really good chance you're going to spill a little bit of oil, so always be prepared. What we like to do is just make sure that we have a ton of microfiber towels, brand new, to make sure we don't get any oil on anything. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen this T30 We're gonna just get these lines, just very carefully, just pull them straight down. Now, the cool thing is because we drained it, um, we haven't had a drop yet. And you can remove these three e-torques. Just doing some little cleanup. And then we can uh, put the O-rings on, put the gasket in, tighten everything up, and we're done on this. Okay, since the Muscleman thermostat is installed, it is time for the DCT cooler, which is like up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 13 millimeter. We're going to carefully lower this down. Then we're going to get access to it. We're going to drop it down. Have to do one small modification to the plastic bracket that holds it in place. Put it back in and then onto the DCT pan. So let's start by removing these 13 millimeters and we'll see you soon. At this point in the process, the CSF DCT cooler is fully installed. Next, we are going to be moving to the DCT pan. Now on there right now, there is an upgraded pan from SSP. We are going to be upgrading it again to Dodson this time. Now, the reason that we're changing from SSP to Dodson is the SSP one sits about two inches down, which hits the underbody tray to the point where 
a hole had to be cut. <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to install the Dodson. Now with the Dodson pan, it's about a half inch smaller. So we're hoping that we can get a new underbody tray, have it up and have there be no touching. So let's install it and see how we make out. All right, as you can see, it's starting to slow down. What you can do to make sure that any excess fluid ends up in the pan and not on the floor is lower this side of the pan a little bit more than this side, and that'll force the fluid to come out that hole. So at this time, not going to take it off all the way, but I am going to loosen it so that we can lower it and get as much fluid out of here as possible. Now with the Dodson pan, you do have to modify the oil pickup a little bit. Um, it's really cool, they give you this nice little template, it just sticks over it, and you cut the yellow line. So let's make a clean cut. The new DCT pan is in and it fits great. We're gonna get a new underbody panel to make sure that everything is perfect under there. So what we're gonna do now, we are going to change out the front mount heat exchanger because there's still daylight and we're still ready to work. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna remove some of the shrouding. We do have a full video on how to do this. We're not gonna film this step by step, but if you're curious on how to do it, be sure to see the link above. We'll also put it in the description. So I'm gonna to get to work and we're gonna install a CSF front mount heat exchanger. We're wrapping up a really good day today. We started off with a Muscleman thermostat, as you saw, followed by a CSF DCT cooler. While we're working with the DCT, we installed a Dodson pan, followed by this amazing CSF front mount heat exchanger. Once again, my name is Brian, and thanks for watching Keys Motorsports and joining us on this build as we build this incredible M4 GTS. If you haven't done so already, be sure to give us a like, make sure to subscribe, and check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit, performance, and aesthetic needs. And be sure to visit us for part five of this M4 GTS build. We have some surprises coming up, so stay tuned.